Welcome back to Boss Man Sports Cards. It's another card show. We're heading out back to San Francisco for the card show in San Francisco. All right, we're back at San Francisco Conference Center. Yeah, we were here for HypeCon. Now it's time for the card show. No false advertising here. It literally says San Francisco Card Show. Now, this was the 24th. There's over 70 vendors. Jordan Poole, he's here to do an autograph session. And PSA is on site. Let's see what the show is about. All right. So, we're checking it out. We got some vendors on both sides. Got lots of folks walking around trying to figure out what they like checking out the older stuff new stuff let's see we got some anime down here we've got pokemon we've got some yugo oh hey we got some bobbleheads cool let's check those out all right lots of san francisco giant stuff not bad not bad at all let's move along what else do we got Okay, saw some stadium club there. What have we got? We've got some more vendors on the left. We got some more vendors on the right. Oh, big old table full of stacks. What else? Ooh, well, we got all these helmets over here. Let's check these out. These are full size helmets, autographed. Each one is labeled like that one's Terrell Davis. We got some Drew Locke back there. Oh, uh, yeah. We got some nice stuff. Brandon Akur up there. Got some mini helmets down this way. So what we've got here is a lot of sights and sounds of a card show. Some of you may have never been to a card show due to the pandemic or not into cards before uh, the coronavirus. This is what a card show sounds like. You also get to see some of these carts that have all different types of uh, boxes on them, all different kinds of prices. Okay, this here's some art. We got a whole nother uh, stand here, jerseys, cards. Let's just take an overview look again. Okay, we got PSA over here on the left doing some on site. Uh, grading there was a spot back there for uh, Jordan Poole where he's gonna be doing a signing over here on the left okay got basketball you got football you got baseball stuff all over the place vendors on one side and bargain hunters on the other doing their battle trying to figure out who can get the best of the deal it's really fun to watch. It's really fun to listen to. It's really fun to be around. If you've got a chance and you hear about a card show, you should definitely do it. All right. Oh, we got some jerseys here. Let's see. All right. Let's start zooming in to check out some of these singles that are available. Okay, we got some Lucas. Nice. LeBron's in there. Kobe. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We got various sports over here. Ooh. Old exception uh, box. Nice. Got a Bonds Leaf. We got some Herbert. We got some Love. All right. But you know what? It's time for me to go get a box. I think I'm going to get some Illusions. All right, went and found a nice empty spot in one of the hallways. Okay, picked up a, a blaster box of 1920 illusions. Okay, six packs per box, six cards per pack. Let's check this out. Okay, ooh, blaster exclusive emerald inserts. Well, we'll just have to keep our eyes out for that. All right, here's some of the details. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the top four cards up in these uh, display spots. Check this out. Illusions. Yep. It's a Panini product blaster box. Six cards per pack. 
six packs per box and we're gonna go ahead and crack it open right here on the spot I brought a little uh, traveling mat to put on the table so figured I should start doing that all right let's insert let's go illusions 2019 2020 retail exclusive parallels well okay all right, Purple Illusions, uh, Patini's Who Do You Collect? Well, they're making it tougher by the day, but yeah, we still do collect. All right, close this up. Oh. Close it up. Get it out of the way. I got one of the uh, card show flyers. Put it right up there for your viewing pleasure. We're going to separate these six, stack, uh, six packs into three stacks. We'll do them two packs at a time. All right. So here's some of the odds information for you. All right. And we'll flip this down, give you the no purchase necessary. If you really want, rewind and pause. All right. Getting into the cards. Now, I have not cracked open any illusion, so this is my very first pack of it. Kind of excited. That's what I try to do when I go out to the uh, shows, is find stuff I haven't seen before. Oh, what do we got? We got a Rookie Reflections. Nice. Okay. Okay, so these are going to be upside down and kind of moved around a little bit. Okay. We got a Carson Edwards. He's with the Boston Celtics. Now, remember, this is 2019-2020. So, all right, let's check these back out. Okay. Finley Smith. Rookie Reflection. Okay. So, staying airborne for a long period of time is at a time. Drexler, yes, Clyde the Glide. That is absolutely a fact. Okay, Donovan Mitchell, nice. Jokic, how about some green? All right, that's a nice pack. Hmm, we'll put them right here in the center. All right, let's open up this second pack. I hope you're having a fun time watching the card show show. <laughs> If there are any that I know about ahead of time, I will post uh, to let you guys know. Okay, we got some Thompson here. We got some Sabonis. All right, Hayward. Nice. Oh, what do we got? Okay, this must be one of the emeralds that they've got talked about. Let's see. Josh Jackson. Yep, emerald. Very shiny. All right, we'll put it there. And we got a Kevin Durant. Sure, why not? There we go. Standing up in his number seven uniform for the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, they got kind of kicked out earlier than everybody expected this year. But, yeah, it's always next year. Right now he's with Team USA, hopefully doing well over in Tokyo. All right, rookie there. Check out the wrap-up. Stack one. All right, we got eight base cards, got a couple of rookies. We got a rookie reflection, Nazir Little and Clyde Drexler. We got one of those Emerald Parallels with Josh Jackson. Very nice. All right, I'm going to put them in order. Let's see what stack two brings us. All right, so getting into our second stack. Let's get this up. You know what? First, all right, I'm going to show you. I got Josh Jackson Emerald up there. The Rookie Reflection. And I put, uh, you know, Kevin Durant and Donovan Mitchell up there. I'm going to keep these in order. Okay. Got the rookies, the inserts, and the base. So, let's get to it. Second stack. They have third pack and fourth pack. Uh, there's only six packs in the box. So, uh, having a little bit of a difficulty with this one. Okay, I'm just going to turn over... And uh, there we go. All right. Um, <laughs> we got a Markson, uh, Markinson right there in the front. Okay. We got Bledsoe. Let's see. We got the regular Josh Jackson. Yeah. There's the Emerald. There's the regular. All right. Jay Crowder. 
Nice. Season highlight. We'll put that in the middle. Marcus Smart. And finishing off, hey, Jordan Poole. He's here. He's, well, will be here to do the autographs. Nice. Okay. Eh, we'll see if I decide to go on in there or not and get an auto. I'm really not a wait in line kind of guy. Um, but we'll see. All right. We got Terry Rogier. What do we got next? We got... We got Warren. Okay, out of Indiana. Behind that, we got Kevin Love. All right. Well, he's he's off of Team USA back home. Hey, we got a Trey Young Mystique. Well, that's kind of wild looking. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Wait a minute. We got Trey Young right behind him, too. Nice. Double Trey Young cards in that pack. That's nice. Okay. And Daniel Gafford right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see where we put them. All right. Check out the wrap up. All right. In stack two, we got our eight base cards. We got a couple of rookies. We got Jordan Poole, who's here for his autograph signing. We got season highlight Jay Crowder and Mystique Trey Young. Pretty cool looking card with the swirl. All right, let's see what stack three has in store for us. All right, so we've got the Trey Young up here on the left. Yep, he bumped uh, the emerald down. We got Jay Crowder here with season highlights. We bumped Durant down to the base and put Trey Young up, but we kept Donovan Mitchell up there. All right, so fix these stacks. Yep, we got Jordan Poole there. Let's get into the fifth and sixth pack. Here we go, or known as stack three. So what are you seeing out there that you want to see cracked open up on the channel? Uh, we got all kinds of stuff coming up with Mixed Box, Traveling Tuesdays. We get some Fresh Fridays, but hey, let's get to this stack now. Okay, we got Bridges there. Tatum. Okay, talking about playoffs. Tatum there had a great playoff uh, series this year. Terry Rozier, we got the Emerald Terry Rozier. All right, so we got Fultz. Nice. How about some P.J. Washington Jr.? All right, so that's the fifth pack. Yeah, I mean, hey, the postseason this year definitely has uh, brought out some of the young guns. Uh, Mitchell had a good postseason. Young had a good postseason. Uh, but, I mean, you can't take away from Milwaukee. They pulled it out. All right, we got Murray here with San Antonio. How about some Hoarder, Atlanta? Ben Simmons. Eh, talking about good postseasons, I guess we got to talk about decent. I mean, he was decent for all the flack that he got. Um, yeah. Uh, he did the best that he could. All right. What? What? Oh, hey, we got the Emerald Jordan Pool here. Okay, so we got two of the guy that's doing autographs here in the building. Nice. All right, Steph Curry. Yes, indeed. Those are some bright shoes in that picture. Uh, you know what? Well, we got uh, Naz Reed there. Let's pull up this Curry. Okay. <laughs> of course, Curry excels on uh, at golf. Yeah, okay. We're going to talk about his golf game on his basketball card. Okay. Well, check out the wrap-up on stack three. We'll see where these are. In stack three, we got our eight. We got parallel Terry Rozier and Jordan Poole. Very cool. All right, so we ended up having... Trey Young up top, Jay Crowder up top. Let's check out this Jay Crowder. Okay, being clutch with this season highlight. Not bad, not bad at all. He was with Memphis at the time. No wonder Phoenix went out and got him, and he was clutch this year in the finals, or at least in the playoffs leading up to the finals. <laughs> all right. How about this mystique? I mean... It's a very interesting card. Uh, it's no mystery who the greatest long, the great long shooters of the day are. Okay. Oh, try to get that. There we go. 
get it in focus for you guys to be able to read what it says. All right. We got Trey Young up here. We got Donovan Mitchell up here. Sure, why not? And then we've got you know our other top five and the other inserts down here. We got a little wrap up coming of our top four and top five. Check it out. All right. So top four, next five: Tatum, Durant, Curry, Simmons, and Jokic. Let's get back out to the floor. All right, you know those collegiate boxes. Yeah, you might see those come up later on on one of the videos. All right, we got some more cards, some more Kobe's. Yeah, we're wrapping it up, but Kobe's still hanging out with the cards. Hey, some old school hats. Oh, what we got down here? Lucas, a Tua, a couple of Tuas. All right, nice. Some old school. Oh, what is this? Ah, uh, some Otani, some baseball. All right, PSA, they're still going strong. It's late in the afternoon. This ends at 4. It's about uh, 320. Okay, Jordan Poole still over there signing autographs. Yep, there he is. Zoom in a little bit for you. All right. Like I said, it's about 320. It, it's still pretty busy. Yeah, yeah, the aisles, they're still packed. It's awesome. It's great to see everybody involved over here. All right, passion for the collecting, passion for the sports. That's awesome. All right, hey, doesn't have to be sports to be here. We got some Scream. We got some of the American Heritage and um, the other groups that have been doing uh, film and TV signatures. Not bad, not bad. Good to see it out here. All right. <laughs> Uncle Sam Funko sign. Cool. Hey, some Mighty Ducks gear. Yeah, autographed. Nice. <laughs> hey, they're making a comeback. And here you go. The Mighty Ducks game changers. All right. I'm seeing the door, so I'm out of here. Glad you had fun. Card show in San Francisco. There you go. Card show in San Francisco. Pretty cool. Good to see the show's really getting busy. Okay, so one of the things that I really liked about seeing today's show was all the youth in there. You know, stamps, kind of a dying thing. Coins, a dying thing. Cards, collectibles. Bobbleheads, cards, all that. Not a dying uh, thing. Check out my after school program uh, video. Shows that we're trying to do our part with keeping the, the interest going. All right. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Boss Man out.